All right, here he is, number 32, the guy who surprised a lot of people when he replaced Derek Carr last year. That Saturday game against the Chiefs, Jared Stidham now with the Broncos, became a free agent. The Raiders didn't keep him. Sean Payton pounced a plan B for Russell Wilson in Denver in Jared Stidham. And again, he's number 32 on the Chris Sims top 40 quarterback countdown. Take that, Casey Kasem. <laughs> You're original. Stidham. You're good. I like it. It was good. Uh, well, you know, that's I think that's where we can start the conversation. Wait. So the one of the best offensive co- coordinators, coaches, head coaches we've seen in football over the last 20 years, he pounced on this guy when free agency starts. Right. Why? Because, because he's not good. Right. Right. No, he's going, damn. Because if Russell Wilson looks like he did last year, I need someone that can come in and run this offense and do it again. Jared Stidham has talent. He has starting quarterback talent. His arm is better than some of the guys we will talk about in the 15, 16 range. He's a much better athlete than people realize. You saw what he did in the 49er game and the second to last week of the year. You know, like a Minshew, what a situation. Oh, wait, great. I get to start against the 49ers, the best defense in football, you know, when they're hitting on all cylinders there. So he came in and made game-changing throws, big-time throws down the field, aggressive decision-maker there, Mike. You know, and he's a quicker, better athlete than people realize. He's got a – you see here, he runs more. You watch preseason football, whatever. You know, he's got a sneaky quick release when he needs to really make it fast and get it out. He can. He can do some sidearm. You can see there's a little backyard football, Mike. Throws off the back foot. He has some starting quarterback caliber traits to his game, right? Sees the field well. He's a good decision maker, right? But then, hey, here, this is where experience matters. And making some, you know, over-aggressive decisions and not playing quite as much and being a little off-target there. But I think this is a, a a borderline starting quarterback in the NFL at some point. I know that New England group and everybody always liked him. He had some injuries there that kind of derailed some things there. But the fact that Sean Payton pounced on him, Mike, I think says a lot about what he thinks of Jared Stidham. Kept him in the division, got him away from the Raiders. That's right. At a time when we thought maybe he had done enough to be in the mix to be a placeholder while the Raiders consider younger quarterbacks. But no, Peyton got him. He'll be there as the backup to Russell Wilson. And you're right. If Russell Wilson stumbles, Sean Payton will not hesitate to bench him. One of the sound bites that emerged over the weekend was him telling Ben DiNucci, the XFL quarterback, who had gotten a, an opportunity with the Broncos during rookie minicamp, Hey, Walmart needs greeters. That's what he told Ben DiNucci because DiNucci wasn't getting it done. So if you're not getting it done, you're not going to be playing football. Yeah. Sean Payton. Yeah. Let's go ahead well, and take well, it. Well, wait, one more thing. Can I you just say off of that? Yeah, one, one more quick thing to yes. the Sean Payton point you're making there. Right. You know, we, we got to see Russell Wilson run the offense and like run it at a high level. Right. Jared Stidham's been taught. This is why Sean Payton likes him. He, he knows he knows how to run an offense and go through reads and make all these checks. Right. Russell Wilson came from that defensive coach that we talked about earlier where, you know, I don't think he's as advanced in some of those areas. He's relied on his backyard ability and just his ability to get it done more times than not in his career. And now he's at a time where, yeah, you can't run the same way and do all that. And you're going to have to start relying on the system and picking people apart that way. And that's what we got to see from Russell Wilson. And like to what you're saying, if we get to week five or six or seven and it's just not clicking with Russell Wilson, Jared Stidham's going to get in there and move that offense because he's going to have all the answers from Sean Payton. So he's going to go, wait, I can do this. I know I might not be as fast or as good as Russell Wilson, but I can execute the offense better than he can. And that's where that could be interesting. He's the perfect backup for Russell Wilson right now too. Hot poker, never going to be able to take a day off and practice. You better be on your A game because Stidham's damn good. And like I'm showing here, I think one of the, the most talented backup quarterbacks in football. You know, when I see the discussions on TV and in media now about artificial intelligence, I will hear people say, who are supposedly experts, very nonchalantly, that there is a non-zero percent chance that AI will destroy civilization. (laughs) I say that because I feel like there is a non-zero percent chance that Russell Wilson is just ruined now. 
and he'll never be the guy he was. And what happened last year scarred him and caused him to just lose it, and he's just not going to be the guy. And you need to have a plan in place in the event that it wasn't Nathaniel Hackett, that it is Russell Wilson, or even if it wasn't Russell Wilson, what happened last year affected him enough that he can't get it back. Yeah, right. There's a chance he had it, lost it for reasons other than himself last year, and now won't be able to get it back. There is a chance. I, so they have to is. be ready. You're right. There is a chance. And, and, you know, everybody, players go through lulls in their career. And you're right. It's like, how do you manage that lull and do you come out of it? You know, again, I, I'd be one to sit here and tell you, Brady went through a lull in 2012 and 13 where it was not great. That's why they drafted Jimmy Garoppolo in the second round. They weren't drafting him because they were going, oh, my gosh, he's so awesome. Let's just draft a quarterback and be cool. No, they were concerned. But he worked himself out of that lull and then got back to being the freaking man, right? A lot of quarterbacks ago. Montana went through a lull, too. Late 80s, they benched his butt for Steve Young in 88, right? But he fought through that. We'll see what Russell Wilson can do and if he can replicate what those two great legends did. I got a feeling he's never been coached like he's going to be coached by Sean Payton. Oh, you know that. He's going to rise up or or – or he's going to be standing next to Ben DiNucci giving out carts at the local Walmart. <laughs> Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.